Coming up, I'm going to show you a dead simple way to come up with the right sales words, the right copy to use in your app store screenshots to increase downloads. Stay tuned. What is up App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.co, the place you go when you want action-packed content in the app business. And today, you know, when I talk about ASO, I talk a lot about keywords, app name, optimizing your keywords for the particular growth. But today, I also want to talk about screenshots and why they're so important to growth. You know, a lot of people are using Instagram, Facebook, Apple search ads, or just Google organic growth. And screenshots are so important to increasing your downloads as well. So I don't want to leave it off the table. Now I'm helping a client come up with the right sales copy. And this is a client that actually is spending a lot of money on acquisition. That's their primary channel. And they're like, Hey, you know, if you can do a little bit on downloads conversion rate, that's going to help us a lot, help us out a lot. And so I said, okay, great. Trust me, I think because you're spending so much money, you could probably do a better job from an ASO perspective, one. And secondly, I love the app. I love the service. I don't think your screenshots sell it. So if you're trying to draw, acquire new users, you know, I want to increase your CPI. Essentially, for all the clicks you're getting from Facebook, Instagram, search ads, how do I make sure you actually convert those clicks into downloads? And I think a great way to do that is to is through screenshots. So let me show you a dead simple way on how you can increase your download conversions using the right words in your screenshot. The tool that I'm going to use for this is called app Annie. Now I pulled up sleep cycle here, really popular app, really cool app that you guys have to check out if you haven't checked out. So I picked them, pick <laughs> picked on them because they're like always number one in the paid app charts. And it's actually an app that I use as well. And they've done phenomenally well for like years now. And what I want to do with them is, so I'm in app Annie, I'm at their app details page. Here's what we're going to do. Okay. I think they got a great screenshot. So let me take a, let me show you what they currently have right now. I'm going to blow this up a little bit on the video side. So you guys can see this, but they got a really great app store presence, you know, wakes you up at the perfect time works just as well with two people in bed, really cool. And then find out if you're snoring, which is a brand new feature that they just put in and then listen to your snoring, which I really don't want to do, but here's the first screenshot. Sleep cycle analyzes your sleep and snoring. You don't have it to have it in the bed. And when they first came out like years ago, you had to have it on your bed, like right underneath your pillow. Now they're going to use sounds to analyze your sleep and wake you up at the right time. So really, really cool app, right? And really beautiful screenshots. So they they kind of know, you know what to say, but let's say you're coming out with a competitor or let's say you work for sleep cycle and you're like, hmm, how do I better increase my conversion rates? I'm spending money on Facebook. I'm doing all these things. My CPI is maybe around a dollar, $2, whatever it is. This is a paid app. So it's doing pretty well anyways, but okay. Maybe not anymore, but essentially like how do I leverage? How do I increase the downloads? Right? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go into app Annie. We're going to pull up the app and we're going to go into the reviews section. So, go into the reviews and I'm already here. So I've filtered this. So what you're going to do is you can do a couple of different things, right? So if you just wanted to figure out what's wrong with this app, you can go in the critical, right? Select critical. That's anything that has one or two stars. And then you can read through like what people are saying and you can sort this by different languages as well. So I'm going to show right here countries and right now it's selected all, but you can do just say us and you can see what they're saying in this for one, two stars. That's one way if you want to try to improve your app or figure out like what's wrong with others, other people's apps, right? It's like, okay, what do people hate about other people's apps that I can add features on later on to my app? Secondly, here's what I'm going to do. So as I'm doing this for my client, here's what I'm doing. I'm going into their app store listing and then I'm looking up all the favorable and I'm going to pick us because you know, generally we just try to focus on the U S market and then I'm going to put rows of 50. So I just want to see more. You can do hundred if you want. Okay. You want to see all the latest hundred reviews. Great. Now here's what we're going to do. Okay. I'm gonna blow this up again for you guys watching on this video. 
couple of different things to make it easier. Obviously, you're going to have to pay if you want to export this. So you can have, you know, somebody on your team copy and paste everything if you want to do that. Or I'm just looking for certain keywords that people are searching for. So I'm going to look for love, right? And you're going to read through. Now, you're not looking for like complete sentences. You're just looking for certain phrases or certain words that people are really loving about the app, right? And so I'm going to look through this. I'm so in love with this app. I had severe insomnia and this completely tracks my sleep. Spelled tracks wrong. As it analyzes it with the graphs in comparison, I'm also single, so I had no idea I actually snore. Like, that's a cool thing, right? And this could be, again, this is why they put it in there. This could be a feature that they people have always wanted. And so they put that in there. So find out if you're snoring. Using some of the keywords that people, words, phrases, that people are using in your app store reviews and putting it in your screenshots. So figure out what they love about it, right? The other thing I would do is look at suggest, right? So if I'm a competitor to Sleep Cycle, I'm gonna look through suggests, right? And so here's one person who loves the app. So if you looked at love, it said love and suggestion, even better, okay? I love this app. It wakes me up so much better and more restfully than a normal, normal alarm clock. I don't ever sleep without it, so great. My suggestion is what are the chances you can get it integrated with Spotify? So like, okay, cool. Now if I'm a competitor, this could be a perfect tie-in to that. Right? It's like, okay, well now integrated with Spotify. Or if I have a new update that I could lead with that as well, integrated with Apple Music and Spotify, which is already integrated with Spotify. So these are things that I would use, right? I would suggest, another suggest. So look through all the suggests and figure out, okay, here's how my app improves upon sleep cycle. Or if I'm sleep cycle, how can I improve my app? And then love. So go through the love again. And the things that people talk a lot about are Obviously things that the app is known for, tracking your sleep, waking you up at the right moment so you don't feel groggy. If you read through some of these, that's what people talk about a lot. And so as you can tell with what they're using, you know, wakes you up at the perfect time so you don't feel groggy, right? So that's what people talk about as well. So that might be something that you add in there because they're saying groggy in there as well. And then I like the fact that it says work with just as well two people in bed. It might be a question that people have. I think if your snoring is in there, like, I like this. I think you could probably combine these two, you know, find out if you're snoring and listen to it and put in something about the other features that you have. So integrated with Apple Music, wake up to play music. Because if you look through suggest, which I already have, you'll find that people say, you know, like, I wish it could wake up to sleeping sounds. The other person that suggested that when I was looking through all this was, hey, can I pick a playlist. I don't want to just wake up to a certain song all the time. Can I wake up to a playlist instead? So these are all things that you can have. And these are things that I would start adding on to it because people are talking about sleep sounds and waking up to particular music. So I would change one of these snoring screenshots and put the music and waking up to certain music as well. Cause these are things that people are talking about in the app store reviews. That's a great way for you to leverage since you don't want to start from a blank slate, how do you leverage things that people are already saying within your app to improve your conversion rates and lower your CPI? So that's a quick and dirty way. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe. We've been going crazy on the subscribers list. So thank you guys for that. Really do appreciate it. And the last thing I'll plug is our App Masters Academy. Now, unfortunately, the price did go up to $49 a month, but it includes everything that we do for our clients, all this new stuff. And a brand new thing that I just started thinking about that I'm gonna be doing on App Masters Academy is quick hits. So these are things that I'm thinking about. These are things that I'm gonna section this off where I'm gonna create more quick hits because the other courses, I feel like they have to fit into something. And with quick, quick hits, it's gonna be more like a, a daily blog, not a daily blog, but like a weekly or routinely updated thing about things that I'm thinking about and things that I just found out. So it could relate to ASO. It could relate to anything. It doesn't have to fit in anywhere. If it does fit in it, I'll put that module in the actual ASO course as well. But this will be just like, Hey, like this YouTube channel, like, what are you thinking about? What are things that are working? So I'm going to try to do that more, which is more my style. Anyways, I like to, I like to mess around, have some fun, be flexible rather than be so structured. Like these courses, I feel like I have to be more structured. So go check it out. It is at mastersacademy.com. If you want to see our entire playbook, thank you guys so much. I'm going to do more stuff on YouTube. I promise you I just need to 
make more time for it, frankly. That's all. But I will do that. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you on the next video.